the formidable robot. In 2007, there was a small indie boy band that went by the name, Scammed at the Fried Chicken Restaurant, which only recorded only 10 songs. But in the years following, something happened that made the band, and nearly all of their songs, vanish into obscurity. In 2010, they released their final song, a single track that had somehow survived the fate of the rest. The title, Scammed at the Fried Chicken Restaurant, was the last piece of evidence that they had ever existed. Simply the memories of fans who could remember the melody and pieces of lyrics that haunted them long after they first heard it. The band's tenth song was rumored to be unlike anything else they'd recorded, a song that captured such a bizarre hypnotic feeling that everyone who listened was drawn into a strange depressive state. People said that the lyrics crawled under your skin, and the melody weighed on you like a heavy thud. Listeners felt the song cling to them, pressing on their minds. Over time, these same people found their lives slipping downhill, sinking into sadness, even full-blown despair. Jobs were lost, relationships fractured, and people reported a sense of paranoia, like they were being watched by something lurking just out of sight. Disturbingly, the song apparently caused people to commit suicide in the most horrific ways. Then, the real nightmare began. One night in 2010, someone had been playing scammed at the fried chicken restaurant on their iPhone, looping it over and over and over. Their neighbors said they could faintly hear the haunting melody through the walls, muffled but relentless. About 30 minutes later, the house suddenly went up in flames, tearing through wood and plaster. The fire burned everything, furniture, clothes, family photos, everything, except for the iPhone that had been playing the song. When police and firefighters arrived, they found the phone intact, lying in the ashes. Reminds me of the crying boy painting. Curious, one of the officers pressed play, hoping to hear the song that had been playing when the house ignited. But instead of music, all they heard was silence. When they tried again, the same thing happened. Dead silence. Word of the incident spread fast, and the song became a legend, something people whispered about but never played. Fans shared stories about the band, but the details got fuzzier with time. Eventually, everything to do with Scammed at the Fried Chicken Restaurant vanished. No one knew where the band members had gone, if they were even alive, or if the song still existed in some forgotten archive. As years passed, people who remembered the band could only recall fragments of their final song's lyrics, pieces that stuck with them like a bad taste they couldn't shake. They were cold towels on the mouth feet, chicken balls they bob see. I was in the kitchen, bows in the hall. Funny thing is, there's nothing at all. Skipped up a fried chicken restaurant. You got me saying, fingers cold. He had the fire, voices hold. Can't escape what I've come. Cash slips over greasy hands Count the change in deadly weight Trust stage clacking, balls to chew Nothing here but me and you Scammed at the chicken restaurant You got me cold and thoughts all tough Back door swaying, silence near Is it hunger or is it fear? Cameras watching, all skew were the ones they never knew Lost in oil, deep in dark Get the sizzle in your mouth Scammed at the chicken restaurants Maybe it's me that they all hold Tired and sick, cooks in pain Guess we'll never meet again Anyone who dares to listen to the song for too long doesn't stay the same. The lyrics start to echo in their minds, and, piece by piece, their lives begin to fall apart, as if cursed to feel the same fear, paranoia, and haunting loneliness that seemed to cling to that final song.